Hi all, Salvatore here. The idea of doing an objective quantitative democracy ranking is actually a very appealing one. The problem is it's extraordinarily difficult to do. I don't mean to be a party pooper, but I've spent 20 years on and off thinking about this challenge, and it's just a very difficult one. Now, the first and most important metric might be regularity of elections. For that, we're starting to get some big data databases pulling together elections Maybe we could do this within a couple of years. The data might be available um, to go for this first one. And I'll even add there how competitive our elections would be my preferred metric. So if elections are close to 50 50, that indicates a quality democracy. 90 10 indicates it's not. But things like court decisions against the government, well, very often the government is a nominal defendant in a case. Uh, also, does the court saying the government's wrong? Is that democratic? I could say the opposite, that, you know, the government prevailing in a court decision is more democratic in a democratic society. Um, number of articles in mainstream media against the government's position, that's impossible. Uh, first of all, how many newspapers and how many languages are going to have to study, you know, 200, 300 different languages around the world? And those newspapers aren't necessarily digitized. And a lot of the poor countries that we think of maybe the most important ones where we want to measure democracy are countries where we simply won't have the data. And then what is against the government's position? It can be very subtle. It's difficult to tell. Um, you know, again, this is almost a near impossibility. Journalists jailed, you know, we just don't have data on this. And if we do have data, the question is, do you support it? So, for example, in India, there are, quote, unquote, journalists who've been jailed on terrorism charges. Are they journalists or terrorists? Well, they claim to be journalists, right? And you know, so, again, a very difficult one. Now, I know that these other options, these other things being suggested are you know, a little more political. They're not really necessarily intended to represent democracy, but still they're difficult to measure. They're difficult judgment calls. It just is very hard to do this in a meaningful way.